Hello, this is Alexander from Galileo Sky. In this video, I'll tell you how to monitor the GPS signal level right in the configurator program during the device installation. Galileo Sky developers added the function of visualizing the GPS signal level. It is available in the configurator starting from 4.24.04 version for Galileo Sky 7X devices with 36.0 firmware and higher. This is greatly simplifies the installation of the devices with internal antennas or the installation of external GPS antennas. The user can check signal level in real time and if the signal is not good enough, then change the antenna's position and reach the best place for satellite data reception and perfect track drawing. To use this function, you have to launch the configurator program and connect to the device via a USB cable or remotely. I'll show you how it looks like. Launch the configurator and go to the device tab. As you can see, a new information block about satellites has appeared on this tab. In this field, we see the following parameters. GPS inside, GPS in use, GPS average SNR, GLONASS inside, GLONASS in use, GLONASS average SNR and total average SNR. The field in view tells how many satellites are in the reception area. In use, the number of satellites that are currently used to determine their coordinates. SNR, or signal to noise ratio, is a parameter that describes the ratio of the signal power to the noise power. The higher the parameter, the better the signal reception quality. In the configurator, you can see the SNR for the GPS signal, for GLONASS signal, and the average SNR for the satellite signal. Next to the total average SNR parameter, you can also see a color marker that changes color depending on the SNR value. With SNR from 0 to 10, the marker is red. It means that the signal is very poor. With SNR from 1 to 20, the marker turns orange. The satellite signal is still very weak. If the SNR parameter turns to be 20 to 30, the marker is yellow. The signal strength is good enough, but still you'd better look for a better place. In the SNR range from 30 to 50, the marker is yellow-green, which indicates a good signal strength. And when SNR is above 50, the marker turns green. It means that it is excellent satellite signal. You can also get the same values from the SAT info ext command. Now, let's see how the device response to this command looks like. Switch to the Commands tab and send this command. In the Response field, we see the same information that is presented on the Device tab. This information is now can be sent to the monitoring software in case it is able to parse extended tags. How to do it? Go to the Protocol tab and in the Navigation Data section choose the extended information about GPS satellites. Now, let's check how the location of the device actually affects the quality of the received signal from the satellites. For example, we took a Galileo Sky 7X device with built-in antennas. Let's try to put the device in different places in the car and show how the signal level will change. The device is connected to our external power supply and to my laptop via USB. Now, let's try to put it to the glove compartment. And have a look at the SNR. It could be better. Now let's move the device under the passenger seat. Yeah, it's even worse. Now let's move the device from the passenger seat under the windscreen. By the way, we showed how to install the device here in our previous videos. So. The SNR parameter is better now, so this is the best place in this car to install the device. That's it. It's not always possible to install the device with built-in antennas in the optimal place due to different reasons. But here's the solution. In this case, you can use the tracker with external antennas. So we place the device under the passenger seat and place antennas under the windshield, as it is recommended to do. As you can see, in this case, the location of the device doesn't matter. Remote antennas solve this problem. There is no difference where the device is. The signal is very good. As I said, to check that the device is installed correctly, you can connect to the device not only locally, but remotely as well. You can get information both by remote control and by command. I sent SMS to the device with sat info command. 
As you can see, in response we received a message with all necessary data and we can decide how properly we positioned the tracking device. So, we tried the new Galileo Sky device functionality, which allows to determine how correctly we installed the tracker and how many satellites are available. As you can see, this feature is very convenient, because it can save money and time that could be spent if there is a need to go on site for one more time. Alexander from Galileo Sky was with you. Goodbye.